we cannot stop testifying to the experience that we had of Jesus. Easter testimonies that we hear these days, they all hold a message of life and a message of consolation. They are experiences of testimony that they share with others. What do they share? It is that they have seen the Lord and Jesus is alive. And since Jesus is alive and Jesus has come into their life, what they say is, yes, I have found life and I too am alive. So this message that is coming to the every testimony that they share is coming to our lives today. We hear from the Gospel, Mary Magdalene, whom Gospel testifies as having seven devils. She is filled with the life of Jesus. And now she is not tormented by those evils, but she is longing for Jesus who is missing from her life and Jesus is near to her and she finds a message of consolation and Jesus is recognized by her love. That is the way that we also experience today the message of gospel that Jesus is sharing with us. Yes, Jesus is alive. If we are also tormented by evils like Saint Mary Magdalene, Jesus' love and life enters into our life today and we are alive. And this message that we are alive actually enters into our own life patterns too. That we are messengers of life, not death. We are messengers of peace, not division. And that is how Jesus is really being experienced in our own day-to-day -day lives. How? Maybe, however, they were experiencing Jesus in their own lives. That in love and life, they met Jesus, they recognized again and again in their midst. Here, they are encouraged, they are given confidence, and they are also strengthened as a community. Now here, in our own lives, maybe in a breakfast time, or being with a sick person in the family, or being in an office, we are experiencing Jesus. And how powerfully it is entering into our own personal life, the resurrection of Jesus and the personal encountering of that Jesus in our own lives. And as the Apostle says in the first reading, we cannot stop testifying to the experience that we had of Jesus. And that renews our own lives and the life of our brothers and sisters, whomever we meet. God bless us.